Hello everyone, my name is Nicholas from Best Stop. I am the customer service supervisor. Today we're going to install some two-piece soft doors on our four-door JL. So we're going to show you tips and tricks on the best way to get your two-piece doors to fit properly. Uh, this can extend to our JK, TJ, YJ doors as well. Always make sure you follow, start with the installation guide, follow the instructions. So from there we're going to go into our parts list, show you guys everything that comes with them. So first we're going to start with the tools that you need. You can start with a Phillips screwdriver, a 7 16 and a 3 8 wrench and we do include the Allen wrench. Then you should have two of your plastic spacer bezels, two metal trim bezels, two door retention straps, and a left and right door latch. And always make sure to count how many screws, nuts, and make sure it's all there. If it's not, please go ahead and give our customer service team a call and we'll, we'll get you taken care of. We're going to be following along, as everyone should, our installation guide. Okay, now that we verify we have all our parts, we're going to go ahead and start with step one, and that is taking off our doors. Okay, so first, some of you may have a T50 Torx nut under here. Please make sure you remove that. This one has already been removed. So we're going to open the door and on the inside you will have to disconnect the wiring harness first as well as the door restraint strap. Now that we've removed our strap and our connector, you can go ahead and lift the door off. Always make sure to roll down the window first, makes things much easier folding your mirror. And then you just lift off. Sometimes it helps to have a buddy come help you. It can be a little heavy and just set it down somewhere nice where it's not going to dent them or scratch them. Okay, now that we've removed our door, we're going to go ahead and put our latches on our soft door. And quick note about the latch. The fronts will go on as intended. This piece will face downward, but if you're getting the rears, you're actually going to want to flip it and swap them sides so this piece will actually point upward. Now the plastic Spacer bezels will be JL specific. You only find those in our two-piece soft doors. The metal trim bezels, well, they're used in both uh, JL and JK. Now we're going to start with our metal backing plate. You want to line it up with the hole here. Take your screws and you want to press all four through. Now that we got the front plate on, you want to turn the door around or go to the inside. Grab your plastic spacer. It's also going to hold these flaps out of the way. Make sure it's on the metal side, not on the, not on the inside. Now we want to put on our door retention strap. That's going to go behind here. There's a little flap. There's some Velcro. Just pull it back. You'll see two nuts here. So you'll need your 7 16 wrench. You want to completely remove it. And you're just going to push on the outside of the door. Keep it stable. Tighten it up. And you can move it and adjust it as needed. And you can pull it out the middle here. And you're good to go. Now we're going to bring the door over to the Jeep. Now you'll notice that these pin protectors are here. You do not need them to keep them on. Just go ahead and remove them. And you can toss them do what you wish with them. Now grab your door and line up your pinhole. Start with the top one, it's usually easier. So side note real quick before we do any adjustments, our doors are shipped completely flat so there will have to be some adjustments. Always make sure your latch is loose, that way you have forward, backward, up, down movement. And also on the inside where we installed our door restraint strap, there is two nuts that make adjustments just like this. Now we want to close the door to see how our fit is. And we're pretty close. You can take a look on the inside at the latch and see which way you need to go, maybe up or down. And ours looks like we need to go down a little. Now, there is an adjustment here where we put our retention strap. There's going to be two nuts. This is going to create pitch just like this. So we just got to take them loose. You don't have to take them off. It'll be your 7 16 wrench. So 
So the two nuts we just loosen will create movement just like this. So now I'm going to climb into the Jeep. It's usually easier to one close it so you can see how it closes. Sometimes you gotta slam it a little bit. Okay, now that we have the door closed nice and tight, we can go ahead and tighten up our pin nuts with our 7 16 wrench. This will keep it in place. It's much easier than reaching over in my opinion. And while you're in here, you can go ahead and grab your 3 8 wrench and at least tighten up these nuts on the latch as well. And you may need your screwdriver, kind of hold the other side. And make sure you tighten all four up, nice and tight. Okay, now that we got our latch on, go ahead and close it a few times, make sure it's good. And we are good to go. Okay, now we're gonna put our upper on, now that our lower's fitting great. Now you'll see on the upper, there is more of these pin insert protectors. And you just go ahead and remove those. Also on here, there's some what we call adjustment collars. We'll get to that later. And as you can see, the sill is a little extra long. Uh, we'll get into that as well later, but it will be trimmed. So now you wanna go ahead and open the door fully. Typically it helps, you can even put it against your tire or your fender. There's gonna be three pin holes for the three pins. Make sure you line those up. Make sure everything's out of the way and you're just going to want to push it down. And you can go on this side. Make sure your Velcro's nice, tight. Now you're going to want to close the door and see how your upper fits with the lower. And in this case, honestly this is kind of rare that it fits pretty well up here. I will show you guys some tips and tricks though that you may need to do on other Jeeps to get it fit, well, just like this. So what you wanna do, even though, yes, our door looked pretty well, sometimes you wanna create what we call a preload that'll kinda of help keep the door nice and tight against the frame of the Jeep. What you wanna do is just kinda of grab at the top here, and don't be afraid, you can use a little elbow grease, put your knee up here even and just pull. You're not gonna break it. Okay, now that we have our door closed, looks looks pretty good. You always want to check kind of this corner up here. You can kind of get your fingers or that's, that's okay. As long as it's not too loose or if you're driving down the highway, you happen to see that wind's getting in, kind of pushing it out. That's when you want to do that adjustment as the, the preload adjustment that we were speaking of. So one other adjustment we'll show you guys is we didn't have to use it here, but these are those collars I was showing you guys earlier. We do include the Allen wrench. This will raise the upper up or down. Sometimes you'll get a, a little gap at the top of the door. So once we got everything lined up nicely, you'll go ahead and get your seal, match them up, and go ahead and take some scissors, utility knife, what have you, and cut that. And then also the same at the front here. Okay, and lastly, we have our door restraint strap. This will keep the door from slamming into your Jeep here. And you just want to attach it to the factory door restraint post. Now we got our strap on, we can close the door. And you're all set. One other thing we want to show you guys is that we do have mirrors for these. So just wanted to show you guys our mirror option. You can put these on. You will have to poke some holes over here. It's just three holes. You can use a hole punch, what have you. All of the hardware is included. Now this is a TJ mirror. TJ mirrors work on all of our soft doors, our two-piece soft doors, as well as our half doors. And that's it for our two-piece doors on the JAL. If you guys have any questions, concerns, things that come up, go ahead and give our best top customer service team a call. Thank you for watching.